Hello friends, this is Physics Boy and today we are going to discuss about elastic collision in two dimensions. So basically in elastic, colli in elastic collision in two dimensions, two bodies travel along the same straight line and there is no loss of kinetic energy after the collision. What happens is after the collision they move along same plane but in different directions. So here the objects are in the same plane and after the collision they move in different directions but in the same plane. So as in elastic collision kinetic energy is conserved, linear momentum is conserved and total energy of the system is conserved. We can clearly see that total energy of the system is conserved but we will consider here only kinetic energy. So no need to bother about total energy and we will make equations using kinetic energy and let's see. Here we will discuss the same mass because uh, if we take different mass then we will be uh, left out with only three equations and four unknown quantities or unknown variables and it will be impossible to calculate the uh, required equation. So we are taking the same mass and the initial condition is that object A is uh, moving with velocity u1 and object P is at rest and after the collision they move in different direction with velocities v1 and v2 so as uh, kinetic energy is conserved so half m u1 square plus half m u2 square that is u2 is 0 and half m is equal to half m v1 square plus half m v2 square so we can clearly cancel out half and m and u2 is itself is 0 so we are left with this equation v1 square plus v2 square is equal to u1 square which is named equation 1. We also know that linear momentum is conserved. So linear momentum will be in two direction of both the bodies. Linear momentum along x direction and then linear momentum along y direction. So we will discuss them and we will get two different equations. So along x axis total linear momentum before collision is equal to total linear momentum after collision so m v1 cos theta m v1 velocity v1 after the collision so along x axis we will be taking v1 cos theta so linear momentum of object a will be m v1 cos theta and for object 2 that is b it will be m v2 cos phi this angle and this is linear momentum along x axis and here only m u1 because before collision this body body a was moving along straight line no angle so linear momentum will be defined m u1 this equation 2 so similarly linear momentum along y axis it will be m v1 sin theta minus m v2 sin phi here v1 so m v1 sin theta and it will be minus m v2 sin phi minus uh, because the direction of the linear momentum are opposite the uh, it is al acting along positive y axis and the linear momentum is acting along negative y axis so that when we find total linear momentum after the collision it will be in this form and the initial uh, before the collision there was no moment along uh, y axis so it is zero as you can see this m cancel out and we are left with the equation v1 cos theta plus v2 cos phi is equal to u1 so using this equation in 1 putting the values of u1 here we will get the equation putting the value v1 square plus v2 square and u1 square and in place of u1 square we put v1 cos theta plus v2 cos phi and it will be of the form a plus b whole square and expanding accordingly taking the desired parts at the left like v1 square minus 
v1 square cos square theta plus v2 square minus v2 square cos square theta is equal to 2v1 v2 cos theta cos phi. So from this equation v1 square minus v1 minus v1 square cos square theta plus v2 square minus v2 square cos square phi we take common and we get this form 1 minus cos square theta v2 square 1 minus cos square phi and this is pretty much clear using the formula we get v1 square sin square theta plus v2 square sin square phi is equal to 2 v1 v2 cos theta cos phi and we put this equation 4 so using equation 3 we can say that v1 sin theta is equal to v2 sin phi let me remind you that we are here calculating the angle uh, with, uh, they make uh, after the collision when the mass is same and the object second object is initially at rest so using equation 3 we got v1 sin theta is equal to v2 sin phi putting this in equation 4 v1 sin theta is equal to v2 sin phi we, we put here we get 2 v1 square sin square theta is equal to 2 v1 v2 cos theta cos phi and so we have value of cos phi 2 v1 square sin square theta upon 2 v1 v2 cos phi which then changes to v1 upon v2 sin square theta upon cos phi so we got cos theta but the whole angle uh, comprises of we need phi in short cos theta plus phi so to get to that equation so in order to get cos theta plus cos uh, plus cos theta plus phi angle using equation 5 and equation 3 equation 5 we have cos theta is equal to v1 upon v2 sin square theta upon cos phi to get cos theta plus phi that is cos theta cos phi minus sin theta sin phi so from th here we use the third equation from third equation we have sin phi is equal to let me take you to the third equation sin phi sin phi is equal to v1 upon v2 sin theta so we get so moving on to the equation cos theta plus phi is equal to here cos theta v1 upon v2 sin square theta upon cos phi into cos phi which gets cancelled out later minus sin theta as it is and in place of sin phi where we use the third equation we put the value v1 upon v2 sin theta and then we get the equation so we get <coughs> cos theta plus cos phi is equal to v1 upon v2 sin square theta minus v1 upon v2 sin square theta that is clearly cos theta plus phi is equal to 0 so the angle formed after the collision when two objects of same mass collide is 90 degree so hence we conclude that in a perfectly elastic collision in two dimension between particles of same mass and provided we kept one initially at rest <coughs> they move along mutually perpendicular direction so thank you friends hope you understand from this video and please leave your feedback in the comments and ask me or suggest me some improvements and also ask some other derivations uh, I would really like to help